What is going on, everybody? Bobby Cloud and the man, Eric Sheet Tabor. We're going to be talking through tonight's NBA slate. Um, it's a big one. It's Friday. That's what it means. It's almost Christmas. Uh, we, of course, Sheets has been working extra time, and like since we started getting everything going. But we, I mean, it's been a lot of stuff going on sports wise for the end of the year. And, and the, you know, we've, we've got the, the, the tomorrow with football, we've got Sunday with football, Sunday with huge NBA slate. Uh, or a big buy, you know, big tournament slate anyway. Um, then we've got a week from then. We've got millionaire makers every left and right. There's just a lot going on in the DFS world. And I'm trying to scramble. I still, I, I ordered food last night at my new place. And I, I'm at the point where I don't, I realized, I didn't realize I didn't have any forks. <laughs> so I'm actually like all over the place, just trying to keep things organized a little bit here. So sheets, um, I had a good night last night. I, I maybe almost doubled my money, um, and, which is good enough for me. Um, so a shame I couldn't make more out of the Sohan and Kessler play because those were, were two guys I had 50% of, but, um, but it was nice. And then it was a, you know, a good football slate for me. So did okay overall. How'd you do? And then let's get into the tonight's slate. I, I did awful in football. Um, in, in, in basketball, I was really close. I had 50% of the Herman Gomez who mm -hmm. basically out, who outscored Joe Val, by the way. Yeah. Um, you, you were, you were right on. And I had, and I had 50% Sohan, but I couldn't get them together. It's like yeah, that sucks. It was pretty. It was pretty weird. Um, so uh, not a great night for me. But the good news is, is that I can. I'm available for for tonight's slate, which I didn't think I was going to be. And and again, uh, just so everybody knows, I I'm around uh, this weekend. You know, this is part of the benefits of not celebrating Christmas. Um, is that uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be live tomorrow. Um, at about when's the first game tomorrow? Football. Uh, I think it's, I think tomorrow is at 10 a.m. It's, it's normal, right? Uh, one, one, one Eastern. So I'll, 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 go live at, I'll go live at 11 p.m. as usual um, and, and, and do that. And then on Christmas Day, I am going to go live about an hour before the first NBA game, whenever that is. What so is I actually mean? think on Christmas Day, I'm good to go live with you. Oh, good. Okay. I just don't think I can tomorrow. Okay, cool. So we'll, so we'll plan on, on, on like an hour before on, on Christmas Day. And I'm almost definitely... Well, I'm planning on it. I'm, I'm doing a live sweat uh, at the end of Christmas, if anybody's around for that, uh, for that last game, uh, for the last half of the last game. Uh, and uh, always be on the lookout for the live sweats if they, if they should come up. Maybe tonight even we'll go and do it. It's a big, big slate. It's a big hockey slate, big basketball slate. And once again, you know, uh, I, I, I want to at some point have a kind of schedule so that everybody knows like Thursdays is kind of like live sweat night. But until then, I continue to just kind of just play this whole thing by ear. As long as this is really important. For, and, and, and one of the reasons why everybody says when you watch our YouTube videos, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that stuff. Yeah, on the one hand, it's important, you know, for the algorithm and stuff like that. But this way, like if I do go live, like you'll literally get the notification. Like that would not that's what notification means. You know what I mean? Is that is that mm -hmm. you get notified if if I go live, if you're around or whatever, and you feel like like getting in there then you can go in there. So if you're watching this on YouTube, definitely make sure to subscribe and hit the notification. This way that you know if, if, if at the last minute we do decide to do something that you get notified. Yeah, that's, that, that makes perfect sense. Um, with that said, are you ready to, uh, to to jump into everything tonight? Because yeah. I, I I, I'm happy to, I mean, I'll, I'll be around tonight. So if I can jump, if, if, if anything's going on and anybody wants to, I'm happy to jump on too. Yeah, let's do it. All right, sounds good. Let's jump into the uh, to the slate here, and let's pull your screen up, and we will go game by game. So for so wait, so uh, remind me, you are good for live tonight, though. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, really, all okay. I'm missing is is tomorrow, unfortunately. That's fine. So I guess my first listen. It's a it's a hundred game slate, so I imagine things will change or whatever. But um, but as of now, I mean, there's only a few main points of value and it, it, a big, big slate. The other thing that I noticed is that, I mean, maybe it was just because I happened to notice a couple of individual spots. DraftKings, it looked like they did some wholesale, like, like salary upgrades uh, on, on a whole bunch of guys, mm -hmm. um, which, uh, which makes pricing somewhat tight. I mean, they just for one, as an example, we'll get to this much, much later, but they made it like LaMelo ball, almost like 10 K. Um, just Probably like, after, yeah. Yeah, um, and uh, there, there's a couple of others like that, which is which mm -hmm. makes which makes pricing tight in the absence of really great value. And I think the value today is 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 just is pretty fishy, if you want to know the truth. But we'll 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 get to it when we get to it, I suppose. Yep, absolutely. Um, all right, let's let's <laughs> excuse me. Um, let's jump into game by game here. 
because I think this is a, it is a really interesting slate. Uh, first up, we have San Antonio in Orlando. It, we're going to have guys who are sitting in this game. They just played last night. It's it, it's just what they do. Like, I'm going to guess the Spurs are going to do that. I still don't think I'm going to get to anyone. I doubt, I don't see them playing Sohan on a back-to-back. Um, but, like, I, I'm, I'm huge on this guy in general. I keep talking about him. I, I still think that in jet, he's, he's not going to put up huge fantasy numbers very often. But when he does, he's gonna, he has, like, the ability to 10x. So, I guess he's a name that, that, will, that people might be attached to because of what the number he put up last night. I, I'm not getting to much in this game as it stands right now. But if some guys are out, I, I might get to some things. I think that, like, Palo's fine. I think everybody's so – Markel Fultz is fine. But nobody is a priority is this the way I have it. Um, anything for you that, that, that you're really prioritizing? Because I, I think all these guys are just like, I have everybody looks okay to me. Yeah, I don't even have that. that I don't, I'm not even that positive. I don't really like much of anything in this game at all. Um, Orlando is becoming fur, fur, further diluted with the return of Wendell Carter Jr. Um, and everybody seems to be priced reasonably. And San Antonio, I don't like playing them anyway, and especially on a back-to-back, especially in an early game. You know what I mean? Like, like all of that just kind of lends itself to a pass for me. So I'm, I'm just assuming to move on. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I do think that game's going to probably have some, some more interesting stuff later when San Antonio rules out at least two guys. That's my guess. Um, uh, Clippers and uh, Philadelphia sheets. What do you got in this one? Well, uh, you have Embiid at eleven three which is uh, one of, uh, you know, I have a, I have a handful of spend-ups that are kind of competing, uh, you know, between Jokic, LeBron, Luka, and, 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 and Embiid. And Embiid is certainly, you know, capable of paying off that, uh, paying off that price. Um, I'm not getting to anything else on, on the Sixers. Uh, on the Clippers, I mean, this is not really, neither of these are projection plays, really. Neither of them project all that great, but, but with with all the price uh, hikes, they, they they haven't done anything with either Paul George or Kawhi, and Kawhi is legit three thirty minutes plus now. Um, maybe that just means thirty minutes, right? Uh, but but nonetheless, um, Kawhi's only eight K. Paul Paul George is only eight nine, uh, and uh, I I think they're both in play. Uh, it, it's certainly not based on anything I'm looking at projection wise. But I mean, if you play if you play Embiid, it's not the worst idea in the world to play someone on the way back. And I think someone well, this might not help too much, but I think John Wall is questionable. Yeah, John Wall was questionable, and I think I don't know what. if he. I was going to say if he's out, I mean, it's even more for Paul George and and, and Kawhi, I guess. But but um, I don't know. Uh, you have any interest in this game at all? No, um, I don't. I mean, the the, the thing is with Kawhi that. Even when he's at full strength, the best he's ever been, he's not more than a nine K player anyway. Like right. he, he's 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 more of a. I mean, maybe maybe once he was uh, he got around ten K or something, but he's he's not like a guy who averages like fifty plus fantasy points or something like that. So I don't, I don't see it as as a as a huge let up in price. It's fine. I mean, I, whatever. Uh, I think Paul George, if you're going to play anybody, would be the guy to play. But um, Embiid would be the other one that I would have no problem uh, going to, but I, I just, I'm just not all that excited about it, to be honest with you. So I'm, I'm sort of got this one crossed off, which is kind of convenient because it allows us to postpone, which is always important on these monster slates. So yes. we can start the slate at 7:30, according to both of us as of right now. Yep. Um, all right. What do we got next? We got Minnesota, Boston sheets. Why don't you jump onto this one? Cause I don't, I'm, um, this, this is an interesting one. If this game stays close, I think that there is some things I'm going to do. I feel like guys are being way under projected on the Minnesota side, but go ahead, Sheets. Why don't you yeah, the only guy I have, I mean, on Minnesota that's uh, I'm interested in is maybe Jalen Noel at 4,400. Oh. I didn't really quite get to this game as like a as as a, a game to generate a lot of stuff. Um, uh, Tatum, I guess, on the Boston side would be the way I would go. I don't. I think it was really weird. I think they started Pritchard in the last game. But they started him, but the only he only played like fourteen minutes or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, something to to watch for. Well, they, they won't start Pritchard because Smart's going to play. No, I know. I yeah, just, yeah. just just remembering. So I don't know. I guess I guess Tatum against Minnesota is pretty decent. I I, I don't think I want to play these Minnesota guys. I'm I, I said I'm sure Gobert is going to play. I'm sure that the Russell's going to play. I'm sure they're going to be all healthy. And I don't know. Uh, I, I'm 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 probably off of this. If you want to know the truth, if anything, I would maybe put Tatum. 
I like Hor I like Horford and Gobert. Um, I, I like that Horford is forward eligible. I think 5K is a fair price. I really like the matchup. So I think that's one thing I'm considering. Um, as I mentioned the other day, Anthony Edwards, his numbers, I will continue to – look, he's going to still put up 60s when Gobert plays. But Gobert is probably the most negative correlated player on the Minnesota Timberwolves for Anthony Edwards because he, he sits in the lane, and it's a terrible thing that they did. They totally stunted this guy's growth. And it's not a coincidence that when Gobert goes out, Anthony Edwards goes completely nuts because he's just sitting down there clogging up the lane. And it takes away all the driving lanes. It's it's just it's just frustrating to me because um, I, I would like to play Edwards here, and 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 if I played Edwards, I would do a little back and forth with maybe a Tatum or a Brown, especially Tatum. So I'm probably off of it too, but I think Horford and Gobert are, are the two guys I like the most. Um, of course, Gobert, you're gonna need you're gonna need missed shots because and that guy will get every rebound. Um, that's pretty much a. That's pretty much it. I, I just think that Gobert at low ownership is, is interesting. And I think, you know, where we're looking for a little bit of value, Horford at 5K is certainly reasonable and to put up 30 plus, but nobody has a, has a massive priority here for sure. We're going to find something we like at some point, guys, I promise. Uh, it's probably yeah. not going to be in this next game for me, Toronto, Cleveland. Sheets, you got anything here? Well, yeah. I mean, you have um, Mobley is questionable. So so that's um, that's just something to keep an eye on. I mean, I don't really have an you know, idea of what to exactly do with that. Um, but if he's if, but if he's out, I mean, even though they they increased the uh, increase, whatever. Kevin Love's like two cents. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's, he's, he's literally two cents, you know, and and, and, and if Mobley is out, I mean, that's I, I'm probably going to have to try it. Uh, if you want to know the truth. Mm -hmm. um, aside from that, I mean, Cleveland is just a, a team now that's really good that that where kind of fantasy points just kind of go to die. So I'm, I'm not really. Uh, I'm not really struggling to play anything from Toronto either. So I'll watch, you know, obviously watch the injury news. If Mobley's out, maybe you play Kevin Love. Maybe you go play, um, uh, what's his name, Jared Allen or something like that. Uh, I, I know I know from time to time you like to play these Cleveland guys like like uh, like Mitchell and, and, and whatever. Maybe, uh, maybe you could uh, give us some insight on that. But for me, it's just probably just watch for the injury news. And if there's no injury, if, if everybody plays, I'll probably stay off the game. Yep. Um... This is not a matchup that you want to play these guys in, in general. The problem, the thing is, I don't know who's going to guard who. Like the Fred Van Fleet thing, people make say, oh, but he's, you know, all this and defense and whatever. All I can tell you is that fantasy, if you want to know where fantasy points go to die, it's when Lowry plays for Miami and it's when Fred Van Fleet's playing for Toronto. You're, you're just, the point guards just don't put up big numbers. Having said that, these guys carry so much responsibility of the offense um that I, I actually do think that that you can always you sort of you, you could literally plug in a thing where you just always played one of uh of uh, garland and 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 mitchell but i i, I for me it's not going to be tonight that i'm getting to these guys i do think that if 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 mobley is out which i really i really am under the impression that he'll play but if he's out and even if he's not out i, I don't think kevin love is a bad tournament flyer um ever pretty much so he, you're just going to have like to, to deal with four out of five bad games, but when he gets there, he can put up 40. So I, I'll take, I'll take that. Um, but I'm, I'm just not all that excited about any of the, anything from this game personally. So the next game is actually very interesting mm -hmm. um, because Alice Caruso uh, got injured in the last game um, and he plays like a bunch of minutes. I think that, that there are three value pieces from Chicago and you probably want to play one of them. Uh, one would be Kobe White. Another would be uh, Ayo Desomno, and the other would be Goran Dragic. All right, now, Goran Dragic is coming back, and he's he's 3,100. Um, you know, he probably doesn't start, but he play he plays minutes when he plays. And uh, I think that one of those three are probably going to do it. I don't know exactly which one, but uh, I, I, I think that one of those three should, should be played. Um, I also, on Chicago, as far as kind of uh, spend-ups or whatever it is, I guess my favorite would be between DeRozan and Levine or, or Vooch. Um, I'm not even sure. I mean, they're not, they're not even really that great today for some reason. I don't know why. Um, but, but DeRozan, I suppose, uh, maybe Levine. I'm not sure one of those two. On the Knicks side, I happen to like uh, Jalen Brunson a lot in this spot. Uh, he's a very, very fair price. So that's where, that's kind of my order of things. I think one of those three Chicago values, if not two, you know, are, are, Probably don't want to play two, but I think I want to play one of them. And uh, I like Brunson the most on the Knicks. 
I, I'm sort of with you, like basically what you said. I mean, like one, one of the white Dragic, the Sonmu, probably the Sonmu is the preferred one. Um, but, you know, Kobe White can get hot. It's always a possibility. Um, and then I, I do think that playing one of the others is, is kind of a good idea here. Uh, I think DeRozan is my favorite. Uh, but Vooch and, and Levine are both totally in play for me. I think I think DeRozan and Sonmu, and then you run it back with Brunson um or or Barrett or Randall and these guys are playing a million minutes now um keep an eye out for Quentin Grimes I think he's, he's supposed to be back but we don't know for sure and I think that you could also I think that, that you add Mitchell Robinson and you've got a nice little four-man game stack I think this is a, is a is a reasonable game um I like it the Knicks guys just playing a million minutes and you get the uh you know the, the uh, like the old Tibbs days like unlike the beginning of this season and and you get the you know one of the the, the Rosen the Son, the Bulls are sort of in desperation desperation mode. I think you can get a nice little four man stack with the guys we mentioned. So I'm I'm kind of into this one. Sheets, I like the All right, next up we have Detroit Atlanta. What do you got here? A couple of things I wanted to ask you about. Uh, first of all, um, on the Detroit side, I think we go right back to the same dudes, uh, J- Jaden Ivey and and Jalen Duran. Now, again, Jalen Duran's gotten priced up just a little bit and fortunately finally had a game that didn't work. You know what I mean? Like, finally. I mean, like, back, you know. Yeah. In the worst matchup in foot basketball, but yeah. Right, right. right. And, 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 and to our credit, I, we did say we're not playing Jalen. I mean, I, I said that on the thing. I, I think that you said the same thing. We, we're not playing Jalen Duran that day. Yeah, which I mean, um, but you know, he's most every other game. He's you're happy with well, him. Getting there, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so I like both those guys. And um, on the Atlanta side, you still have Capella, who what does it say? He's officially questionable. He was targeting that for today's game, so we just we just have to watch for that, I suppose. Um, Trey Young always is, looks, you know, Trey Young's always decent uh, as far as you know fantasy play so he's in play can i what do you think only could you play this guy more than i have now he, he hasn't played a lot since he's been back but but john collins i mean he's 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 really cheap and yeah if you tell him he's playing 20 minutes i'm like okay no thanks but if if they're like intending on like ramping him back up uh and and playing him normal minutes and to get ahead of the curve on, on a price decrease of 5,700 to 5,300, um, I mean, who's to say he doesn't play 30 minutes, you know, and put up 40 fantasy points? At, you know what I mean? I don't know. Uh, so I want to ask you about that. Obviously, I mean, prefer to have some guys out, you know, maybe like to tell out or something like that. But what do you think of Collins, I guess, as a punt? And what do you think of uh, other guys I mentioned? Um, so I, 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 the first guys I – I like Ivy and Duran. I have no problem instead of Ivy jumping over to Bogdanovich. I like him in this matchup. Um, not a guy I always play, but I, I do think that it's worth, you know, the guy, the guy has 50 plus upside and this is a perfect matchup for him. Um, like you said, Trey Young is always fine. I think I like Jonte Murray better. Um, yeah, I don't care about the recent results. I'll, 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 I'll believe in the long term. The only problem with Murray was with Bogdanovich there. I'm not sure that price. Right. Still not sure where he should be priced. Um, John Collins is not playing minutes very much. Uh, it's a flyer. I, I don't see it as a big Well, a- yeah, well, he hasn't been playing minutes, but I mean, he was before he got hurt, right? So, so they played their best basketball though with him playing less minutes. That's the problem. That's my only fear. And, and also, Capella probably coming back tonight, it's not going to help anything for him. Okay. I mean, I, I was just wondering if, 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 you know, that this, that these, minutes were like intentional not because they're playing well or playing for whatever they're like listen the first we're, we're not gonna just we're not gonna play them full run right away and i don't know i i do think there's probably some of that um i think i think it's fine i think it's a flyer but like they have more guys in the lineup now and it's not okay. like he was even crushing at this in the in the past like because he's 53 because instead of 57 it's not gonna, i guess so. not gonna sway me in a, in a major way okay um, especially with Bogdanovich there too, but I, I mean, look, it, look I, I, if you could, could it be a night, it's a great matchup. So every one of these guys, it feels weird to like. I don't want to write any of them off, but kind of hard to find a priority from there for me. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I'm having a hard time just getting anybody on Atlanta with all these bodies available. So I probably am just going to be off of Atlanta personally. But 
I do like the uh, Durant, one of probably, you know, I, I like Duran and I like one of Ivy or Bogdanovich. I think those are guys who I could definitely see making uh, some big lineups tonight for me. All right, let's jump over to uh, the next one, which I actually haven't pulled up yet, which, what do you have next? Is Milwaukee? I have, I have Milwaukee, Brooklyn. All right, why don't you... Uh, well, we got, we got, we got, we got everybody in, right? We have Giannis in, we have uh, uh, um, Durant in, and we have uh, Kyrie in. And seems kind of almost dirty that I'm not getting into more of this. Um, especially, actually Giannis, I suppose he's 12K, so it's hard to, it's hard to play, but I mean, he's going to score as many fantasy points as he wants, I, I imagine. Um, against Brooklyn. Drew Holiday is back. Uh, Chris Middleton remains. Oh, he's doubtful. Yeah. Um, I, I just feel as though I'm supposed to get more of this game somehow, especially on the Milwaukee side. I just can't quite find out, figure out who it's going to be. Um, and then on the Brooklyn side, I, I, I'm not seeing too great of a projection on either of these guys. And I just don't know why. You know what I mean? It's to be a big, big, big total. Um, I don't know. I I, I, I have a feeling that you're, you're supposed to take a shot, but they're expensive with the, at best both of them in the game, right? So so Durant is 10 7. And Kyrie, Kyrie, I think he's he got a price bump. Is that what happened? No, he's the same. He's the same. So I have a question. Again, like I'm just throwing out there random flyers. Is it time yet? For which? Is, is it time for TJ Warren? Oh, uh, you know, it's it's. I like the question. Um, it's it's probably not. To okay. be honest, um, okay. even without Kyrie, he didn't get there in the last game. I know that was a weird game, but it sort of was like the game where they could have let him sort of unleash if he wanted to. Don't right. look at the game logs for any of these players from Brooklyn because that was just the weirdest situation. I, I just I just saw him pl- that he was back playing basketball. So I'm just yeah, yeah yeah no he's he, I mean it's, it's just how does he fit into like what they're no. doing? Off, like I, I I don't know. It's 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 it's, it's I'm I mean. I'm okay. probably not gonna. I'm not gonna do it on this slate. Um, what I will do is play Ben Simmons. Um, mm. I, I think Ben Simmons is actually like a really good play here, and I like him in this kind of environment. They, you know, um, fast-paced game, and I think that I'm gonna I'm gonna take that shot uh, shot on him. I also like uh, Kyrie, and I like Giannis and Holiday. Uh, the problem with Holiday here is that he's going to be guarding Durant for probably a good portion of the game. And when he's not guarding Durant, he's going to be guarding Kyrie. So that's not a lot of fun. <laughs> um, so I'm just, I, that's the only thing keeping me off the Holiday thing. I, I do think Giannis is probably going to be overlooked and not entirely sure why, especially because the Milwaukee has looked terrible. They've been just awful in real life. And this could be a, like they're they're underdogs to the Nets. If if they need Giannis to go nuts, give Giannis a, a giant boost. I mean, Giannis gets projected for thirty three minutes or thirty two minutes every day because that's you know they blow teams out and all that stuff. He played thirty nine minutes when they were trying to come back from a million down against Cleveland the other day. If he plays thirty nine minutes, his projection should be like seventy, not sixty something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so I I like these guys. I think. Uh, and, and and I think I think Kyrie on the other side is my favorite um, of the of the of the you know Nets not named Simmons so Kyrie Simmons and I think that Giannis is probably my other one so I actually do like this and I, and I like what you're saying I think you are supposed to do something here so I'm I'm sort of with you here I think this is a nice little stack together. Um, all right, what do you, what do you have next, Chiefs? Well, where 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 fantasy points go to die in Miami, I suppose. Um, I do have a good point per dollar projection on the M behaves on the, on the NEM hard, but, but I, I don't know. I, I see, I see that I see PG and then I see at Miami and I just kind of don't, I don't care if he's second unit or eighth unit. You know what I mean? Like I, I just, just don't, don't see it. Uh, but he is showing up as a decent point per dollar play. I'll just kind of leave it at that. Um, other Indiana guys, Miles Turner. I don't know. I, again, I definitely don't want to play. I shouldn't. Well, I shouldn't be so dismissive. I was going to say I, I don't think I want to play Halliburton, even if he plays at ninety two hundred. Same thing I said before. Uh, you indoctrinated me pretty well that you don't usually want to go after the Miami team with point guards. Um, and uh, on the Miami side, yeah, same speech as usual. I mean, who's playing? Uh, I, I'd like to think everybody's back, but you know they all throw up these questionables like every freaking game. You know, so 
Mm-hmm. I do see Bam as 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 without a Q tag. That's good. Caleb Martin still Q. Jimmy Butler Q. Who knows? Um, I think if everybody's in, I kind of inclined to just fade and pass on the game. Yep, uh, kind of uh, pretty much agree with you. Um, I I don't have a whole lot to to love here. Um, if everyone's in on either side, I I, I think that like the Nemhard like. <sighs> It's always weird when these guys project for like numbers that they never get. <laughs> um, and it was Neesmith Day the other day, which uh, going back to Boston, he's at Neesmith has put up forty and thirty in his last two games. I mean, why, why, why Denhard? Maybe, maybe Neesmith is, is, the, is the guy we should be looking at a little bit deeper. Well, I, I think Duarte. Oh yeah, Duarte has been back for the last couple of games, but I, I still think like. Maybe there is something there with Neesmith with their the rest of their front line. You know, they sort of changed the way they played this season. Maybe maybe you get to a little bit of Neesmith or Nemhard, I guess. But I'm not excited about it, I'll tell you that. Um, all right, next up, we have uh, New Orleans OKC, a game we probably can do some things in. New Orleans on the back-to-back here. Um, I'll, I'll go first, I guess, on this one just real quick. It's going to be really hard to like without knowing who's playing for sure. And they also unfortunately priced up Larry Nance. So it's not like he's going to be a guy in play either. Um, it would be interesting to see what they do with Joe Val on a, on a back-to-back. Uh, it's going to be a weird, another one of those weird situations because literally like a nut matchup in all of basketball for big men, basically, or one of the three. Um, I, yeah, you know what? I said, I go first and, and I don't have a lot of, a lot of great stuff to give you. So um, maybe Jose Alvarado, but probably not unless somebody's out. Maybe on the other side, Darius Baisley uh, at 3,200. And uh, and I think that you know this if you if you want to bet on this game staying close, I think maybe maybe you get to a little bit of Shea or Giddy. How about you? I I, th- I think this game is easy. So so first of all, the, the spread is like Oklahoma City's favorite, so Zion's out. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just. I, I just can't imagine Zion playing uh, for openers. Um, yeah, that's, uh, you're, you should, we should be assuming that. You're right. And I will tell you something else. If Larry Nance is out again, I'll tell you who they did not move up is is Hernan Gomez is still 3K flat. I mean, how do you not play him again? You know, uh, uh, that, that sounds, especially with Joe Bob on a back-to-back, it sounds, this is this is good for me. Um, I will mm-hmm. say something else about the, about the, about, about the uh, Hernan Gomez. He actually played some minutes alongside of Joe Bob. Uh, last night um who was so, the other five that they used because they only played 47 combined minutes did they play jackson hayes maybe they did maybe they played jackson hayes i don't know i just know yeah, yeah, they did. yeah you're right they, yeah they did they played jackson hayes so this is this is good for uh, yeah, it's fine by me if they're gonna if zion's gonna be out again and larry nance is gonna be out again and they're gonna make hernan gomez 3k and no one's gonna play him again i'm gonna do it again he he was literally seven percent on a two game set all right and, and so obviously no one likes to play him um so that's 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 my opinion that that i think that that deals with the with the with the back-to-back stuff it deals with whatever now on its face you know joe val once again is going to look like a really good play you know uh if, if it weren't a back-to-back if you didn't have this other issue whatever it is um but that that's that's where i'm at is is i i just i i'll and i will go back to shouldn't we well again it depends who plays but shouldn't we go right back to McCollum? Yeah, absolutely. Like a lock, basically. I mean, not right. a lock, but like as close to a lock as there is on this slate, I think so. Far. Yeah, I mean, we should probably go back to McCollum, yeah. and uh, and Alvarado looks looks decent as well. But I'm just, I'm I'm watching for that center play. I mean, because so far we haven't really gotten to like see. So, so normally, have like a million centers that like you have to play. I haven't found one yet, and and uh, I don't know. I'll, I'll 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 take another shot at that. That's that's my take. On this. And on the OKC side. Uh, Shea remains, you know, always, always somewhat playable. And that's pretty much all I have from OKC. Yeah, I think, I think you, you, see, you decide between Giddy and Shea. Um, I, I really like playing Giddy and it's, 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 it's just so much easier for him to get there than it is for Shea. Um, it is kind of interesting what they're going to do here. And now I've got Baisley as like, why do they have Baisley so far down there? Um if Baisley plays, I think he's kind of interesting. Oh, he is, he's available. This official, uh, right? No, it's an old one. Um, hmm, that's really weird because he was available to play and he didn't play. Uh, that's really, I guess, I guess that in that case, it is just Shea or Giddy for me. 
Um, I don't mind if you want to, if you, if you do end up doing like a McCollum and a Joe Val or, and a, if you want a Hernan Gomez or Nance or whatever, I, I wouldn't mind getting to a little bit of, of Dort, if Dort with Giddy or Dort with Shea as a, like a little game stack here. I think this could be a good game to stack. It's got a, got a nice total. You got the, you know, Zion and, and Ingram obviously out from New Orleans. You play McCollum with one of the, the bigs and then you play with one of the Shea, Shea or Giddy with uh with Dort or something like that. I can get, I can be talked into that or Jalen Williams. I think that's, yeah, it's actually kind of reasonable. So I don't mind this as a little bit of a mini stack, um, but priority wise, the one guy who I know I will play is, I think McCollum will be in the majority of my lineups as of right now. It does worry me on back-to-backs with jump shooters after playing 37 minutes on the road. Um, a little, little concerning, but I guess that means we're also, also we should have, we, we're going to have to get to Alvarado again as well. Um, at least somewhat as, as a value play. Do you, because, you, would you be okay playing the two of those together? Yeah, um, I don't love it, but I would. I guess if I wasn't playing McCollum, I would play Alvarado. I guess that's the way I would treat it. I think. Um, or I think that's, I think that's a good question, Sheets. I, I think that's what I would do. Is I'd probably play one of them. I don't think you want to play them all together. I guess that makes that's a good point, actually. Um, but yeah, that could be that could be a fun game. Like, I mean, that, you know, it's, it also is a little later, so it's nice. All right, um, Portland and Denver. Uh, I actually have Dallas and Houston next. Oh, sorry about that. Dallas, Houston. Yeah, we'll finish off the eight o'clock games. And, and, you know, I wish we could skip through this one, but the problem is, is that two of my, the top three point per dollar plays I have projected right now are, are, are guys from Houston who I don't want to play. Um, not that I don't want to play. I just, it just feels uncomfortable. And they're both, they're both projecting a 30% ownership and, and, and I, I got to be talked about this stuff. So KJ Martin at 3,700 small forward, Power forward eligible and Terry Eason, power forward only at thirty five hundred are projecting to be over six x and 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 significant amount of ownership. It feels to me like like stuff you're not supposed to do. But uh, the the guy who's another guy projecting pretty well just kind of out of nowhere. And I like playing guys like this. That you know I only see him being owned like ten percent or whatever. It's kind of like a weird guy to play on a slate like this, but. I see Spencer Dinwiddie showing up on my on my sheet uh, more than he has in a little bit. I don't know why, but 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 uh, that's that. And those are the guys I kind of like to play because he's not going to be talked about throughout the industry. There's nobody out right that's making him such a great play. He's just kind of like showing up, you know. And I, I kind of like that. Um, other guys on Houston, um, uh, I don't know, nobody really. And then and then on the Dallas side. Same issues as, as usual. You know, you have Luke at 12-5, and you can score 60 fantasy points, maybe more. I don't know. Um, is that enough on a 15-game slate? Maybe, probably not. So probably going to be off of that. Uh, that's pretty much where I am. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting one. Uh, I, I really like Christian Wood here. Um, uh, going back to Houston, it's now in the starting lineup, uh, not going to project well at all. Um, but I don't know why every, I mean, I get it. It's Houston. So you can, you can, you know, give a huge bump to everybody, but it does seem like Hardaway's projection is kind of ridiculous. Like why is he projected, you know, 30 plus fantasy points? Like, I, I really don't understand it. Um, except for the fact that it's just a good matchup against Houston. So I, I I do think one Dallas guy, like even if that it means possibly being Luca, it's just such a premium matchup. But um, one of the, these guys, the Hardaway, Dinwiddie, Luca, Christian Wood. I think Christian Wood. I might just I might just go for it. Um, doesn't feel great, but I, I but I like them. I mean, I do like to always try to attack Houston, and it is a revenge game, and he is forward eligible, and there's nobody who can match up with him size wise, and he's been getting more work and all that stuff. Um, I think KJ Martin is a, is is a is a very good play actually. Um, we have Gordon. We have Gordon out. That's why. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. And and, that, and those minutes are going to go to to KJ Martin, Tarius, and um, so I, I I'm I'm into playing one of one of those uh, Eason or uh, or Martin in this one. It's it's such a bad matchup for the rest of these guys. The one thing I'd say though is like maybe. I could talk myself into Jabari Smith or Shangun. I just don't think I'm going to end up. It's just I don't. I just don't like the matchup enough. I do like to play bigs against Dallas, and Shangun has been. I mean, he's been really good the last couple times out. 
Um, maybe I could talk myself into a Shangun Christian Wood thing or something like that. Hopefully they don't get in foul trouble, something, something along those lines. But mostly it's Eason and, and uh, K.J. Martin for me in this game. Uh, not getting to as much Jalen Green or Kevin Porter in this matchup. All right, next up, we have the 6 o'clock game, the Portland-Denver. Yeah, they played this game about a couple of weeks ago um, at Portland, and it was a barn burner, 121 to 120. Um, Jokic put up 60, and I think I think Lillard had a – I don't think anybody pre- really got I thought that. I thought Lillard had a premium game too, but let me just double-check that. Um, he uh, – where is that? Against Denver? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he had 72 fantasy points in there. He had the monster one, huh? Yeah, he had the monster. I mean, he he is rated as he is questionable for tonight. Let's take. Oh, he's probably. probable. So, um, I don't know. Sounds good to me. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe try that again. Uh, the other the other guy that I wanted to ask you about again. Whenever these guys play, um, we have to talk. We don't have to, but we talk about Nurkic. Uh, he has always some kind of thing with uh, with uh, with uh, Jokic games. Um, I don't know if he's even playing or. It's not really projecting all that great, but and then you have Jokic, who is you know he's the, you know the top, he rates to be the top point scorer on the slate, and he's actually not the most expensive. He's quote unquote only twelve k, right? Um, but uh, you want to play him and Lillard together? Let's go. I mean, it sounds sounds good to me. I don't see much value on this in this game aside from maybe just spending up for those two. Yeah, I don't know who whose feelings Nurkic hurt or something, but, but they just won't play those guy minutes. I mean, it, in the last game, he played. He only played thirty-one minutes, but he, you know, he had he had forty-two fantasy points. He was nine of ten from the floor. Like, I don't really know why they're not playing the last game out. They lose to OKC and they don't play Nurkic. I just don't know why he's smashing in twenty-three minutes and they don't they don't play him. I I just don't entirely understand all of what Portland's doing here. Um, trying to do this small ball ish that well they like to play eubanks a lot i guess that's the problem but uh i don't know man this is a game that feels like we should want to do something and i personally don't have a whole lot that i love um i, I think Jokic is always fine i don't i don't think you go for it like he gets his ceilings in these matchups as much um i don't think I, you have Jokic as the highest point point total on this point score on the slate wow that's that's possible i guess i guess that is yeah, I feel like we're supposed to do something. I, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting to it. Uh, J- Michael Porter Jr. is supposed to be back. So if, if 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 Michael Porter Jr. is in fact out, I can go back to Jokic or Murray. But I, I don't think there's any way I can get to them with, with Michael Porter Jr. there um, on this slate. So uh, Nurkic is probably my favorite in the game. I think Nurkic is my favorite. Uh, Lillard is, is, is fine. I mean, like, I mean, you're just... He, you know, you want him to, to 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 be hot. I have to double check it. Who you know? Was there anybody who was out last game? I don't think there was last time they played. They played these guys. No, they, nobody nobody was out. So Lillard's fine. He just, he just went off. I mean, you know, that happens sometimes. Yeah, but he you know he hasn't you know primary most of the time. I would say he's like the lowest. You know, you should you should expect the least from him at 10k of any of the 10k players in general that's fair enough he, he's not a guy who's consistently going to put up like not every game is going to be like 60 fantasy points right. 55. he's going to have a bunch of 30s and 40s in there especially as they're fully healthy and they've got a lot of other weapons so i the long the long shot Nurkic play even though i feel it feels kind of gross because they keep not playing him you'd think they would they would play him more minutes in this matchup and by the way i believe that was the last time oh no Yes, the most minutes he played in that game was the most in December. Um, oh no, he had one other game where he played 39 minutes against Utah, where he would he was having a good game. But it, they, they, he does sort of seem to have fallen out a little bit with these guys, and I, I still think he's I still find him a little bit interesting against Jokic here. But yeah, it's, it, it feels like we're supposed to do something, but I, I, I'm just not loving it because maybe the reason is this next game coming up with the bazillion point total. Um, or the, the, you know, depending on which which screen you're looking at, because the uh, I guess it's not the next game; it's it's the one coming up after this next game. Although this one yes. has so this next game I have the, the, is uh, these only two games at ten. No, there are three. So first game, the first game is is Memphis uh, Phoenix, and uh, Chris Paul still remains too cheap with Booker out, as, and also with 
uh, with Cameron Payne out. Okay, so so Paul remains too cheap. The Are also, we sure? can I ask what? that real quick? Are we sure about that? The most overprojected guy in the NBA like history isn't is too cheap. Are we sure? Oh, I, I just wondered out there as a general question because it's not. I like mean, I just, I just I just think this is should be his price with with all these guys in right and and. And they're out. That, that was all. I mean, just, yeah, no, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to, to, to disagree. I'm just trying to poke holes. And this is the perception that always happens. And Chris Paul ends up like usually on these sites, like 35% owned, but like, yeah, he got there against the Lakers, you know, and he got there against the Clippers in that other game and is against his old team. I, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't, I'm not, I'm not a hundred percent sold that he's, that he's far too cheap or anything. And then I think the ownership, I'm just trying to find a way to be, to, to pivot. Yeah, the, the other, well, if it helps you, I mean, I, I only have him projecting a 10% ownership. So I, I don't, I don't think he's, well, we'll see, we'll see how, I mean, it's a million game slate. Yeah, um, yeah maybe you're right. And, and the other thing is, is whoever else starts in this game, you know what I mean? They're going to, Phoenix is going to play. Like when they started Damian Lee, he played all the minutes. When they started Landry Shemet, he played all the minutes. And Landry well, actually went the exact opposite last time. Um, Shemet played all the minutes as, as, that was the one where they played the back to back, and and Lee Lee started both those games, and Shamit got all the minutes because. And as I said, they weren't going to play Damian Lee. He played thirty seven minutes, so of course he was going to get it cut down. That's why I played Shamit, not Lee, the other night. Oh, Lee did in fact start. Wow, yeah. I didn't know that. But it was off thirty seven minutes, so I thought it was like I thought he was terrible chalk, and it, it was felt good to be right about that one. Um, I don't know. I could. I would. I, if I, I, I think I would have liked him. You don't. You wouldn't like Damian Lee if he started in this game. Um, no, I think he's fine. But I didn't like him the last time because it was the second end of a back to back, and he played thirty seven minutes the first night, and he's incredibly shooting reliant. Um, so I was not a big fan of him the last time out. But I'm. I'm I think he's. A, I think he's a better play tonight than he was the, the last time. That's what I was saying. I, I tell you. Not, go ahead. We got, um, I, I was going to say. I mean, you know. With, with Booker out, um, I think you should probably play somebody. Um, so Shemet, I mean, you know, it's against my against my uh, my my it's against my rituals to 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 play him off of a, off the ceiling like that. So probably not going to do that. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't think I don't think that's a, a play. Yeah, is Akogi going to be back? Um, wait, was he even out? Akogi is out. Uh, okay. oh, sorry, Akogi Akogi was not was. Was out the last game, and I think that right now I've got him projected as as questionable but likely to play. Okay, um, so maybe it's not such an easy thing to figure out what to do there um, with, with Phoenix. Here's another guy I want to kind of throw in there. I only looked looked into him because Saberson had a really big projection on him, like way bigger than the rest of the industry, and he ended up failing. Um, they on, the, on this Ish Wainwright. OK, so so he did play to the 20, he did play 21 minutes or whatever. And Dario Saric is like out. You know what I mean? He's out of the rotation. You know, he, he I don't think he plays at all. Anymore. Um, we, we were threatening to have him play like start a couple of games ago. He played like zero or whatever. Um, so with these guys, oh, eight and stack. I'm sorry. I thought that I was going to have to deal with that again. OK. I guess eight at seventy nine hundred seems seems reasonable in this spot. So I think Chris Paul, Aiton, maybe you can get away with not playing any of the other guys. And on the Memphis side, I mean, on the one hand, uh, playing guys against Phoenix is not not a lot of fun, but but playing John mm -hmm. Moran is a lot of fun in general, you know. So uh, and why not? And why not? Why not play some job? Why, listen, compared to you just mentioned. Uh, uh, what's the little or to 10k? Like, who's a better 10k? Like, more oh, it's always a job, it's always job, right? So, it's, so sorry, 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 sorry. Let, me, let me clarify it's always job without Bane, but Bane is supposed to be back tonight, <laughs> so it takes Bane a little bit of the luster out of him. Back, I don't think he plays full minutes though, no, probably um, not, but it does hurt jaw, yeah. So, I don't know, I probably, I'll probably have something with, with jaw just for fun, and and uh, and I guess that's it. Yeah, I, I, I'm sort of with you. Like it's a we. It, it, I'm trying to trying to put the pieces together of this. Like maybe I, I I dismiss Chris Paul a little too quickly because CJ McCollum at the same price is going to be the mega chalk. Maybe, maybe you can get a little lower ownership on Paul and play them both together. Um, so so may, maybe that is something I could talk myself into a little more than I than I initially said. Um, everybody else, I just have a sort of a play. I, I don't like playing guys against Stephen Adams. 
I mean, do you see what Steven, Steven Adams was giving Jokic fits the other night? Like it was nuts. Um, Jokic finally ended up getting to like 50 fantasy points at the very end or whatever. I think he scored, I think he ended up totaling 50, but he had like 20 fantasy points with like a few minutes. Steven Adams, man, that's what he does. I mean, I know. And that's what I'm saying. That's why I don't want to play Aiden. Yeah. He's awesome. Steven Adams. Yeah. I think he's just such a really good real life basketball player. That's very underrated. I actually think Steven Adams would be in play, <laughs> to be honest with you, 5,100. But everybody's just sort of in play other than, other than I think you can make a case for Chris Paul and Bridges. I think Bridges being at, with ownership is probably not something I want to do. I just like that these guys are in a later slate. So I guess I will throw a CP3 or, or Bridges maybe into a lineup or two, but it's not, not, not high priorities for me. But I do think that they're interesting. I mean, interesting enough. It's a, you know, you, you like to play them in, in the high pace matchups. And also, like, it's weird. I think there's a chance that Memphis just beats the hell out of Phoenix tonight. They're just a much better team in general, and they don't tend to win by a little. They win by a lot. Um, I know that sounds weird to say as the Suns have a you know a good record and all that stuff, but without without Booker especially, this is just I, I think Memphis is just, you know, they're really tough and they can they can beat anybody by 20. All right. Uh what do we got in the next one, Sheets? Uh you got the Wizards Kings. This is the the the, the one that I was talking about with, you know, just I, I, before you even look at the prices of the players, it just feels like we should we should be doing something with this game. Well, I mean, the annoying thing is well, annoying whatever is that uh, is that Porzingis is is has that Q tag on him. Okay. By the way, this is the last bet I made. I had the Washington plus the points in Phoenix that day. Um, oh right. Yeah, they won outright somehow. Yeah. Um, but uh, so Porzingis being questionable at a ten o'clock game. Is, is is interesting because, listen, like you said, without even looking, you know, you, you want to play something, right? Sacramento's a freaking track meet. Right. I have to say, um, and this is a guy I don't – I never I never played when you were supposed to play him. And and, and now I am I think I'm going to play Beal regardless mm-hmm. of whether Porzingis plays, you know, and, and I think I want to put him in and then hope that, like, at 9.52, Porzingis is ruled out. It's too late for anybody to do anything about it. Um, that, that, that's, that's kind of what I feel. I feel this is like a perfect spot for him. And, uh, he's been, he's been putting up decent fantasy points anyway, you know, for his price. And, and, and you get up to the, you get, get this matchup. Listen, they could get run out of the building. And that's always, that's always a, 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 a danger, right? Mm-hmm. You have Avdia who was out yesterday and he's questionable today. Um, I think he'll play yeah, he'll probably. Play. I don't think he's going to bother Beal too much, though. You know what I mean? I think. I think. No, if, no, no, no. No, in fact, he actually could argue that he helps because he's not a like a high usage guy. You know. Yeah. So having I don't think, guy, not the usage guys. I don't think I want to go after anybody else from from Washington. I would love it if Monte Morris could like do something, um, just because of his minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, but for me, I'm I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go down with the with the Beal play here, and and on and on the Sacramento side. I mean, the usual suspects who played Sabonis play. Play play Fox, um, but I think Beal. Oh boy, oh boy, Eric Haber, play, Eric Sheets Haber playing Bradley Beal. That's uh, we'll see about that. But I think I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I, I like I like the Beal play. Um, I, if Porzingis plays and is a full go, I actually think that he would be interesting. Yeah. Um, and I like Sabonis on the other side. I know his price is up there, but this guy is just crushing. Like right now, I mean maybe not to the point where we should be paying 10, like 10, six is a lot, but it, it's, I think it's kind of interesting. And I think that, you know, you need this game to stay close though. I, I don't want to play like a one-off Fox or Sabonis. I want to play somebody up on the other side. If I play either of those guys, um, just because to hit their ceiling, they're going to need the minutes. So that's what I've got. I, a, I've got this as a potential game stack, but it's going to depend on Washington news. Unfortunately, we can't, we can't do anything. My guess is that, uh, my guess is that Rui doesn't play tonight and that that uh that Abdia does, but that's just a guess. All right. So this is this is this is so so this is this is this is gonna be a fun slate. And there's definitely we've got to be a live sweat here. Is 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 this the game that we have to play, I think? Because listen, here's the problem. No, there's not a problem. I would I would normally I would like to play Westbrook at this price, but the problem is I only really if you, I really want to play Westbrook, I want to play him more in kind of like a fast paced matchup, right? That's going to go like up and down the court. Um, like Got something it. maybe like, maybe like Charlotte. Oh, how about that? So mm-hmm. just give it all. <laughs> give me all the Westbrook, you know? And, and he's another guy who I never went on play too often or whatever it is. But 
you could just you could just let me be cashing for zero like the whole night. Oh yeah, and give me all of the Westbrook that that a human being can eat. That that's that's my that's my like that's my uh, sheets play of the day. I think uh, and you. With that said, you watch will get ruled out. Okay, but 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 uh, yeah, but, right. but that, that's who I like. I listen. I'm I've been and unfortunately, uh, DraftKings did it. I am. I think I think I'm priced out of Lamelo in '98. Um, uh, he's certainly score seventy. Okay, but but uh, he. I think he's just kind of priced me out here. I'm just gonna just sit on my fat. You know what? And just hope that Westbrook uh, just goes bananas. And that's 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 my take on this game. Yeah, I I, I think that uh, I, I think it's a pretty good bet that Westbrook does. I think we've got a lot. Like it, this could be a guard and utility spot night, I think, instead of a center, because there's another good guard. I mean, we've mentioned Beal, we mentioned Chris Paul, we mentioned CJ McCollum, who's the most obvious one. And then you got Westbrook. Uh, there's a lot of good guards out there. So I, I do think that's sort of like the, the overall how you're building is going to be with those with those guards, I feel like. Uh, not necessarily Beal and all of them, but like I like Westbrook a lot better than I like Beal. Um also to muck it up for for Lamelo Terry Rozier playing tonight, um, who actually is probably like in play at seventy four hundred. It's such a good matchup. It's hard not to just you know want to try to stack this game and then just shift along the way. Like and maybe yeah. place older guys would be again Nick Richards or PJ Washington or you know guys like that just to just to sort of hold your place and then and then you you shift when you hear later news if that if we get to that situation because. We just talked about Washington. There's a lot of late potential news that we could get. Um, but I, I like Westbrook. I, I don't think this is too expensive at all for Thomas Bryant um, in this matchup. They're literally the best matchup. In, I said the other one, the OKC, they're, they're the second best. Nobody's better than Charlotte. Charlotte gave up in back-to-back game sheets. You ready for this? They gave up 170 points to centers in back-to-back games. Just one center. I don't mean like the whole combination of centers. Just between... Uh, uh, Jokic and uh, and followed up by Sabonis. It, it, it's it's it, you don't even need a guy you run things through. Thomas Bryant should be able to do it with just rebounds and putbacks and things like that. So I like Thomas Bryant. I like Westbrook. I like LeBron even. Um, That's what I was going to ask you. You like? Uh, I was going to ask you if you like LeBron. Um, uh, what's his price? Ten eight something like that. He's, he's Ten nine. So he's a little expensive. I think he's a little bit below the other guys I mentioned in this yeah. one. But he is definitely on the board for me. Like I'm gonna but, make- but but when we when we uh we do our live sweat and we and we and we scan for PMR, we're gonna we're gonna we we might be uh, the people that show up in the uh in in the, in the screens uh yeah. for, for PMR, you know. Absolutely. Um, the other thing I'm again this is kind of a basketball t- take. You, since you brought up Thomas Bryant, one thing that and also Westbrook, another reason to play Westbrook is one thing that people can do against Charlotte. You can rebound against Charlotte. Um, and, yeah. and, and so Thomas Bryan can get up, get a bunch if he gets them, you know, gets the opportunity to do that. And obviously Westbrook can get a billion rebounds too. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's up late. I've got a lot of guys on my list after a kind of a slow start of guys. I like, like, I liked the idea of the, of the, the white, uh, one of the white dragage to Sonmu. I had the Sonmu as the priority. I like the idea of Levine, DeRozan, or Vooch. I think the priority would be DeRozan for me. I, I really like Randall, Barrett, or or Brunson. Brunson and Barrett, then Randall for me. And I actually think Mitch Robb could be, should be considered as well. Um, one of the Detroit guys at low ownership, Duran and I, B. Bogdan, uh, Bogdanovich, I think they're all kind of interesting. I like the idea of maybe getting a, a Simmons, Kyrie, Giannis stack together. And again, I'm gonna have to whittle this down. I like McCollum. The, the the real priorities are McCollum, Westbrook, Bryant, um, basically anything in the later games. I think I do think CP3 is a better play than I, I probably give him credit for. Um, and then I think that you know these Dallas guys in this matchup are hard to ignore it, along with the Houston value. So that's that's sort of what I got as the game stacks. I like the best. I like the Knicks and Bulls. I like Washington and Sacramento if you can find a way to do it that makes sense. And I really like the Lakers and Charlotte, even though it might only be PJ Washington. It, it, in my early build, it probably ends up PJ Washington and Gordon Hayward or something, and 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 Westbrook on the other side with Bryant. But at least we're keeping places open for the later games because I might even throw Nick Richards in instead, just because just 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 to try to get some some potential value that might open up later in the day. I like I like I like I like I like Beal and Westbrook as 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 I guess my two best, and I like. Uh, 
Hernan Gomez, if and only if uh, Nance is out. Um, I like one of the two, one of the three Chicago guys that we mentioned. Uh, I think I'm probably going to have to try one of those two Houston guys. And, you know, you build like this, you, you could, you could spend if you want, you know, you could, yeah. you could spend for like, I, I, I'll put it to you, put it to you another way. Like here's just a random lineup. I put in. Like if, if you, if you even play, play Chris Paul or like McCollum, you know what I mean? Like you could then go play Luca if you want, you know, right. or, or, or whoever, Giannis or whoever, 12-5 can. So you can play these 12-5 plays with with very, very minimal aggravation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hear you. Um, I, I wouldn't probably play like guys like Martin and Easton together and things like that. I just think that even if they could both get there, you're sort of capping your upside. Okay, that makes sense. But that's, that's the only thing I would say, but I do I do think you're right. Um, so, and for me, it's going to be a guard-loaded slate as of right now. And, of course, with that said, then we're probably going to get news that all these guys are out or something. <laughs> you know, we have to play somebody else. Um, but it should be a fun one. I'll be live. Are you you're around tonight? Nah, it's going to be Valanchunas ruled out on the back-to-back and Nance, and Herman Gomez will be 60% owned. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, I will be around tonight. Okay, awesome. All right, we'll be live at 6 Eastern, guys. I look forward to it. It should be a fun slate. It's a lot going on, so uh, – we're going to have some other, you know, a few of these before the end of the year. Next week, I think, is the Millionaire Maker, the 22-22 for, uh, for the NBA will be next Friday. So that's Hey, be- get, get, in, get in the subscriber tournament today. Yeah. Um, I posted that. And then, again, tomorrow, um, you guys are really lucky because I was supposed to have, like, uh, opened it up to, like, a whole bunch more people. So you guys that are listening to this, you're going to have, like, a bunch of added money for this Christmas slate tomorrow. If, if, you, don't, if you don't sign up for it, I mean, first of all, you have to be a premium member to, to not participate, but to, to participate in the added money. I mean, it's literally like like the worst move to not play. Let's put it that way. Totally, yes. You have, you have to play. So if you but, and, but, but you know, I'm, I'm like now now I'm like steamed. Okay. So <laughs> the, remember, one of the rules of that is that if if you if you've got to win, in other words, like Bob, if Bobby and Eric win, then I don't pay out any of it, and that's mm-hmm. kind of what I'm rooting for right now. Mm-hmm. So uh, we'll see what happens. Absolutely. And good luck to all you guys. So we'll see you guys at 6 Eastern.